morning everyone welcome to today's vlog hope you're all okay yeah and welcome to Freya. yeah it's really nice out there actually nice blue sky a bit cloudy um but apparently it's not going to rain today which is good so yeah we really put my washing back out i stuck it out yesterday morning and sadly it rained so it got really wet so i brought, brought it back in again yesterday re spun it so that needs to go back out so i have checked alexa and that's it, it's not going to rain, which is good. So, yeah. Um, anyway, yeah, I'm up in Sammy's room at the minute. He, when he woke up this morning, he said, Mummy, I'm going to pull my sheet off my bed. Can you remake it for me? So, yeah, I'm going to remake that for him. I know he can actually do it himself, but I don't mind remaking it for him. And also, I need to redo Ben's as well. Ben's pulled his sheet off. Love to know how they can actually pull a fit his sheet off. I really, really would. I know Sam is tossing the tail at the minute because of that horrible cough he's got. So, I don't know that obviously that's how he's, the sheets come off where he's been coughing and tossing and turning and bless him. Yeah, it's like I say, it is disturbing his sleep. So, hopefully, fingers crossed, we've got this um, Bronco stop. Um, is it Bronco? It's either Bronco stop or it's the, the Cavornia we bought from. So yeah, gonna give him um over the weekend with that and hope finger cross I'll try to get back in the doctors on Monday. It's just gone on far too long for him now. So yeah, and also bless him, Ben this morning. He made me laugh. Yeah, woke him up at quarter past seven like I normally do. It took him ages to get up and he was like looking at me. I was like, Come on Ben, let's get ready. let's get your breakfast, let's get you ready for school. So he come down the stairs, got him Gave me, his, gave me his medication, his breakfast, and then next thing I knew, he took his sort of pack upstairs back into bed, and he actually put his covers back on, and he looked at me when I woke, when I woke up to him, I said, come on then, Ben, you've got to get up. He looked at me and said, no, I don't want to, bless him. Yeah, he doesn't do mornings. Well, it's a typical, I say he's 18, so, yeah, I can't say he's a teenager, like he's an adult, he... um doesn't do mornings basically so anyway yeah like i said apart from making the boys beds putting my washing out um yeah i've got nothing else to do really at the minute to be honest with you um already done dishwasher as well which isn't too bad i done that earlier on because the kids were actually ready for school by five to eight this morning which is unusual so but yeah they was one of the that's actually cooperative as well which is really really great so anyway let's get on with doing Ben Sammy's bed I do need to put Ben's clothes at some point away as well because I do need to sort them all out see what he needs for summer and that sort of thing I've already done Sammy Sammy's actually fine the only thing Sammy needs is short pajamas I've got plenty of t-shirts he's got plenty of shorts so yeah he hasn't really grown so much I don't think not actually um like I say he hasn't really put no yeah like I say he hasn't put no weight on so which is good he has shot up more that way so it's not too bad for shorts it's like his jumpers were up here till we got him a whole load and after like the t-shirts and shorts that's not too bad so yeah but anyway I better get on and make him slam his bed now my wheels in motion and my So I've just put the sheet back on um, Simon's bed for him, bless him, yeah. So I just sort of it all out. But I've left all of his teddies there because he likes, you know, he knows what he's got there. Like I said, there are all of his special toys, toys, his special teddies there as well. Obviously, he's still got his cushion here, um, which he's had a while ago. Yeah, he absolutely loves that cushion. So, yeah, he's got that one there. Long on the day, we used to have all of his teddies there. So he's actually managed to reduce all of his teddies just to these couple here. Again, that's the sentimental rings for him. Obviously, his rainbow there, his giraffe, um, his other giraffe there as well. Obviously, he when we've had a giraffe for his birthday, he picked that one up. Again, I suppose, in the mental feeling, giraffe, big rainbow, that sort of thing. So, yeah, at least that's done for him. And does anyone else have teenagers that like to store things in their bedroom? He do, like, cups and plates and stuff. Um, you know, he's, he knows... To bring them down but obviously i think this must be one when he forgot 
this morning like I said he's not sleeping that great at the minute because of his cough it's oh, so it's gone on for so long so he has got some of that um Cavornia we brought him yesterday so I'm gonna give him that a go over the weekend and see how he goes and if not I'll see if I can get him back in the doctors on Monday but yeah yesterday he had about four or five cups of pee yesterday it's like Sammy bring all your cups down and then when he goes downstairs and he wonders why he hasn't got all his cups left I said take your bedroom <laughs> but anyway, apart from that it's keeping it all nice and tidy here which is good um like I said I might bring a hoover up here actually give a bit for hoover as well for him yeah and obviously when we was away we moved things over there but it's moved them all back onto here again it's his stuff he likes it the way he likes it and obviously on here exactly the same as well he has got some iron to put away um like i said i refuse to put his iron away he knows how to do it and obviously up there i still got his 16th birthday banner i thought becca made him for his birthday and obviously got his 16th birthday cards down there which is kept as well so yeah so not too bad in Sammy's room to be honest with you um just popping into Ben's room now as you can see this is what Ben's done to his bed he's pulled he hasn't actually physically pulled his sheet off as such but it's like I said I love to know what they do with that um obviously it's got his like his favorite Toy Story duvet on absolutely loves this one and looks like he's been playing with his lights down here as well you can see they're all tangled all up only thing is because they're so old they're quite brittle as well I did think about putting some cable ties on them, but it seems if I put cable ties on them, it's going to break them because, again, they're really, really fragile like crazy. But he's had these ages, to be honest with you. Really, really has. I think they're, like, so they're quite long. I think they're about, what, if I stretch them all out, I think they're about three metres long. I think they are. Yeah, they were actually um, from a charity when we first brought them and stuff like that. So, yeah, I know they're expensive, but they've lasted long. And like I said, he likes to play with them at night. He likes to lay on his bed here and he loves to pick them all up and twirl them through his fingers and stuff. But yeah, I'm really quite surprised they still actually work, to be honest with you. Really, really am. But yeah, if I, anyway, if I turn them on for a minute, you can see what I mean by some of them don't actually work here. Because no, they're normally they're supposed to go right to the end. But yeah, but like I said, once they're all together like that, it doesn't really make much difference. So like I said, you come in here at night time and well you could easily fall asleep it says entering here obviously he's got his lights on up there he has that on his ceiling he has his all things up here but like i said it helps him to settle at night as well so but yeah it must nice get him his own little sensory room really would but then it's later yourself if you get him a sensory room would he actually more miss to set up in his bedroom but yeah turn those off as well so yeah and also got a bit of iron to put away for a bit of clay to put away for ben so so yes yeah, so i do that probably some other time and like I said I need to sort this clay out anyway so when I put the iron away I can sort them all out from there and even like I said Ben still got his cup up here from yesterday as well so yeah I need to take those down for him he's got his like his little teddy up here we got that from the science museum and he's also got his little lanyard there from when we went to the Atty Head when he had his stadium tour yeah can't believe that was last week this time last Friday I was on his way home so Yes, that's what we've done with all these DVDs, and he's quite happy with this. He's quite happy with his room set up in here now, so obviously he's got a bit more room. So and he's actually he's still happy, he's got his toys there. But saying that though, as you can see, we put like this way, like that. He's normally before you have teddies all over the floor, but she hasn't. The only ones he's got on the floor now, obviously, is his two teddies. He cuddles the really lays. Obviously, he's got his Rex, and he's got this little teddy here as well. There's, those are the two he cuddles all the time, so yeah anyway let's get on making ben's bed shall we yeah we are just back from um well i'm just back from work and back from the same thing we popped in there to get some milk didn't we mm. and also something for ben um yeah so the dietitian when we spoke to her she told us to try ben on this it's l pro creamy oat milk apparently it's quite high in magnesium apparently or that sort of thing so let's give it a go he might like it you know what i mean he might not you know so yeah, boss, like I said, bless him, his, his, his magnesium levels are still low, even though we try with diet and everything else, that sort of thing. But you know, like I said, if he likes it, he likes it. If he doesn't, he doesn't. It was on the neck tuck price. It was only, what, £1.50? Yeah. I think it was. So like I said, um, we normally have to like the lactose free one. This is still lactose free anyway, but I think it's just flavour with oats. It's got here, the great choice. This drink is rich in fibre and added with no added sugars. It's also a great source of calcium, vitamin B, B12, vitamin B, vitamin D, A. That's probably why I was, well, that's good. It helps with vitamin D levels as well, isn't it? Maybe I should drink that at all. Yeah. Throughout my levels. Yeah. Mm. 
um, rich in fibre, no added sugars, naturally low in fat, naturally lactose free and free from colours and preservatives. Nasty. You see why some people drink that stuff. You can actually, yeah. Mm. So like I said, you might like it. So, um, but anyway, yeah, so I'll show you the size of these jacket potatoes. We wasn't planning on jacket, having jackets for tea, but we went past there, didn't we? And so they were absolutely huge. At the minute, I think Sainsbury's is the place to go for huge jacket potatoes. Potato. Yeah, look, so we've got those two there. They are really, really big, those two. And I've also got these two, big two here as well. I believe what, there's only £2.52 for four potatoes. So I thought that wasn't too bad either, was it? Mm. And obviously we've got a couple of bits and pieces of bones because obviously he's free, he's free to draw, he's filling up, and obviously Aldi isn't the greatest, is it, with gluten-free stuff? Mm. Um, you get the odd bit, but nothing major, nothing like that. What did you put them away? What? What's that? These, um, chicken kiefs. Yeah, they're in his Yeah, so he's got a few things in his drawer. I know that. Oh, yeah, he's got some of the chicken different things. So, what? The same was up there. Mm. I got some, oh, yeah, he's got some fish fingers as well. So, okay, well, that same up there. They've got a better range of gluten free in there now, aren't they? Better than Tesco's at the minute. It's not being nasty, their uh, Stamford Street stuff is really quite a reasonable price. It is, it's, yeah. Kind of, kind of reminds me of Tesco's old Tesco value. It does actually. Oh yeah, also got the bones and Oh yeah, don't forget Sammy, don't forget these for Sammy. He was very in this morning. I can't take my cheddars to school. I said, we shouldn't eat them all this, should you? So, I'm oh, just taking the cheddars. These were actually new. Is it the same They're not new, I've had them before. Uh, have, you had, have you had these ones before? Yeah, I remember what last time. Oh yeah, they're only 75p with the test, uh, with the, um, nectar price and but yeah Not so Tesco the brain, right? I know I have because we have it's because with the hollow Tesco that's just come through the post this morning I think mm. so yeah and also we've got a, oh yeah and one more thing and then we look I got I got some Twinies tea <laughs> it's for the ages since I've had Twinies tea only because they were on offer maybe so, that's a vlog comparison we should do for the future who has the better club card deals we can't say club card can you well, I'm just saying you know discount card deals well, like, there's only really well, Sainsbury's. Tesco's got their club card. Tesco's have got, got, got their nectar. They've still got theirs. Morrison's have got one. Oh, yeah. Lidl's even got one, haven't they? Oh, yeah, Lidl actually. Lidl one's not too bad. But anyway, yeah, the, I absolutely love Twins tea. Twins is it's my like favourite tea. Yeah, have got sparks. Yeah, mm. but, but uh, I don't know. Sort of, anyway, yeah, but obviously, like, the price of Twins has gone up through the roof. I used to buy it from B&M when we used to buy the packet for a pound. But anyway, this was only two pounds, so I jumped up the chance. So. And Ben's got them as well. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Ben's got his cherry bake rolls. Yeah, see, he's putting them as well. Oh, so. oh yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. But you've got these from the um, offer as well, weren't they? So, yeah, he'll be happy. His cups are topped up for him as well. <laughs> so I was happy he's got his Depolitan ice cream. Well, technically, you know, it's like we're doing his shopping for him, and that's what, you know, it's food, food for him. It is, actually, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, bless him. But yeah, so he'll be happy with these bits and pieces. You right then, Sammy? Yeah. You watching the horse racing? Yeah, the last of what? Days. <laughs> I'm not too quite sure what the race this is actually. Yeah. But anyway, darling, you had a good. Oh, it's racing from York, whatever that is. So anyway, yeah, if had... I won, I can get my tablet or put it on there. No, you don't. You want to do? You played on your games? Yeah, you finished, didn't it? Yeah, I've finished actually. Um, so anyway, Sammy, you played on your games now or not? I'll tell you what's tell what is back on there. What? On the Game Pass. What? Planet Coast is back on there. Planet Coast is back on the Xbox. I can play that. There we go. What? As soon as you make sure something got a theme, but right, roller coasters. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm sure it's back on there. I'm positive it's back on there. Planet Is it Planet Coaster back on there? Let's have a look. So check the group. Boom. Bones sitting down. Is it back on there? I'm positive it was. Yeah, so we do always have the one with the internet, so the internet's gone really slow, so I don't know if it's the weather mm. or doesn't matter. Is it on there, Planet Coast? I'm sure it was. <laughs> yeah, probably, they probably are playing in the box, actually. Every time they're playing the box at the top of the road, it always seems yeah, to affect well, our internet. I'm going to go on there and have a look at see what the uh, Swish fibre can cost. I think I'll probably will do, actually. Yeah, we'll have a quick look. Or Giga Clear. Doesn't matter if we keep both running, does it? No, because with Giga Clear or Swish fibre, they don't do um they don't do like landlines do they i always do like having the landline so if need be, you could always not have um internet with bt only problem is what happens if it goes down that's the only issue these at least when it goes down at least we've got like the um thing to get here haven't we like the 
Um, it's just, worth, it's just worth holding out for BT when they put their lines. It is they're, actually. Surely they can't be that yeah. far behind. They told you. Oh yeah, I told you it was on there, didn't I, sweetheart? So it's I hope for there's space on there. <laughs> yes, there is. Look, there's actually space left on the Xbox. I'm surprised, actually. Well, I hope when they bring out the next generation console, they put more blimmin' space on them. Or make them so the games don't take up more less space. They can't. I know. They need more hard drive space in there. You can buy the external hard the drive, though. The external hard drive I've got there. It's five terabytes, and I've had that since before Disney last. What this one here? I yeah. know, oh, yeah. And it's still in full, yeah. It's not full. But anyway, Sammy, how was your day at school today? Really good. <laughs> Done anything interesting? Um, I don't know what I'm used for today. Like what? I don't have assembly. So. I know you had assembly. One week to go to a half term. Yeah, next Friday we finish your half term, don't you? You're just going to be jumping around here, there and everywhere during half term. Yeah. What? I don't know, we'll see. So we're going to be jumping all over the place. Don't forget, we've got a few days. But where are we going to anyway? We're no holidays. Not got no holidays, but this year have we? Yeah, it's not the holiday yet. So I'm not um, 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 what to do. I can't afford it. I know it's just so expensive. Well, they get off charging that amount of money. I don't actually, to be honest oh, yeah, with you. School holiday time. Yeah, let's let's skim flint people. I know we're not being asked. Not also that not being asked. We're looking at Disneyland Paris as well. I just want to go to the walls of Disneyland. I know, that's the problem. There's so much ride closures at the minute. I know obviously they need to be for maintenance and stuff, but... I know, but why can't they just shut it down for a period and just do it like they do in over here? They won't do that just though, Disney, will they? Disney doesn't want to shut. No. Well, don't forget that Paris got the Olympics, so they're probably doing it all now, making doing all their maintenance now. You just remember, once all this is done, it'll look nice. Yes, I know. To be honest with you, when we were there last year, it looked quite run down in places. It did actually, I do have to admit that. And well, I never knew that when we had that picture taken there, those things in the background were made of cardboard. Yeah. Well, yeah. I saw that post. Yeah. So now, when you look down there now, all you can see is Tower of Terror to the left. Mm. And those ones onto the right are no longer there. No, they're not actually, are they? Yeah. Well, they mean, yeah. So that's still there. What well, Tower of Terror Tower is. Tower of Terror is still, still there, there. But those were cardboard. Yeah. Oh. Did you know that? No. It's going to look weird once that gets changed over. It is, isn't it? Yeah. It's going to be, be worth it all day and stuff like that. I never understand why not when they do in a Kodak moment in front of the castle. Like, well, I think they should do, actually. Mm. But anyway, at least you've had a good day this summer, yeah? Yeah. And Ben's had a really, really good day, don't you, Sita? Um, he's come home with a couple of certificates, which I'll show you in a second. Um, is that one actually real? It's got National <laughs> Citizen Service 2023. Yeah. It's 2024 now. I know it is. Yeah. But look who it's signed by. Yeah, you ask yourself, is it real? <laughs> I know, yeah. yeah. So this is the one who's come home with. Congratulations, thanks to Professor Ben Stevenson Gretsch, in recognition of your contribution that you've made to your community and your country by completing National Citizen Service 23, signed by Reverend, was, right, was it right, was it? Reverend. Right on the Reverend, is that in charge of the country, a Reverend? <laughs> yeah, no, what is it? What does that RT stand for? Oh, right. Honourable Ricky Junak, MP, Prime Minister. So whether it is, I do not know. Oh, what's that? Look, what's on there as well? Little city, little kitty, big city. What's my baby? Do you want to go outside there about so you come to me? No. Um, obviously I said you saw a day when he went outside. Maybe we're out alone for a bit and stuck back in to put his lights on, bless him. So he is happy down there. Sammy, you playing with that goat? Yeah. Does that game installed yet? I know, he probably won't be able to hear me actually because he's, playing, he's got his headphones on. Really? Has that game installed yet? Not yet. Not yet. Sammy, medicine. Medicine, darling. I know you don't like it, but. Look at his face. That's not very nice, is it, sweetheart? Yeah. Oh, bless him. You got your drink now, alright. Hopefully, being a squad, that will get rid of your, um, your cough. So. Alright, I'll put your headphones back on now so you can concentrate playing no, the game. I do not like it. What's that? What's up with that medicine? Mm. Horrible. What's... What? Horrible. Well, that medicine's horrible. Anyway, right, put your head. There you go. So you can... There you go. So you can concentrate playing your game now. All right. Yeah, yeah although I'm doing just a potato for tea. Oh, yeah, for cheese. Yeah, the cheese? Yeah, cheese, beans, and butter. Cheese, beans, and butter. Yeah. And what goes on first? The beans. 
the beans and what next? The cheese. The cheese. And then the butter. Yeah. So you're like, you, you have to have yours not quite, don't you? Now I've to put the butter on first, then the beans and then the cheese. So yeah. Let's sit here be ready about about quarter past five, all right? Yeah? Quarter past five. Well, as she found that brings Friday to an end again. Yeah, I can't believe that we've got rid of yet another week, Cheryl. Yeah, isn't it? And that's yeah. like we're almost, almost at the end of May. Yeah, it's been a very up and down week this week, isn't it? Yes. Very. Had some good points, has had some bad points, but otherwise, you know, you just carry on like normal. Yeah, yeah anyway, yep, yeah, so that brings Friday to an end. Oh, well, well, Oh, that jacket potato was very nice. To put it this way, but they just fit in the air fries. They were huge. Anyway, SG fam, see you in the next one. Bye, Bye everybody. everybody.